Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer or Compline on Saturday the 30th of January when the church celebrates the lesser festival of Charles, king and martyr, who died this day in the year 1649. And these prayers come to you from the United Benefice of Holy Innocence and St. Mark's Churches in the United Benefice of uh, South Norwood. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread on the foot or deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and the Holy Spirit, by whose breath all souls are raised to life from death. Amen. Our psalm for tonight is Psalm 16, and the refrain is, The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fall. The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad, and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Give to us, Lord Christ, the fullness of grace, your presence and your very self, for you are our portion and our delight, now and forever. Amen. Our reading this evening is from Titus 2, verse 11. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. 
hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now for the Nung Dimittis, which is our gospel canticle, also called the Song of Simeon. The refrain, Alleluia, Christ, the light of the world, Alleluia, has manifested his glory, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world, Alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. As we come to our prayers of intercession, we give thanks to God for bringing us to the end of this day. And we pray tonight for all those priests with permission to officiate in the diocese. Especially, we pray for Susan Wheeler Kiley in our benefice. We pray for peace for the bishop, priests, and people of the Diocese of Algoma in Canada. And we give thanks for those in our community here who are sick or are in any other kind of need. We pray tonight for peace for Marie Gabrielle, for Vera. Barry and Valerie, Sheila, Andrew Scorgi, Joanna Simpson, and Don Hawks, that they would know God's healing and wholeness. Tonight we pray for those who are bereaved, especially those who have lost loved ones as a result of the COVID-19 virus. And in our community, we pray for Davies, Aberdeen, Simon, Ben, Ferguson, and the Webley families, that they too would know God's comfort and God's peace as they mourn the loss of Olu, Sibyl, Alonzo, Neville, and we pray that their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, would rest in peace and rise in glory. And so we commend ourselves and all for whom we have prayed to the mercy and protection of God. God, our Creator, who in the beginning commanded the light to shine out of darkness, we pray that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ may dispel the darkness of ignorance and unbelief, shine into the hearts of all your people, and reveal the knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. King of kings and Lord of lords, making the true light to shine, lighten our darkness now and evermore, that with our lips and in our lives we may praise you, for you are our God now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as we conclude, in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the living waters of Christ cleanse us. May the Spirit descend upon us and the blessing of God be with us this night and always. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight for Compline, Saturday the 30th of January. Do sleep well, have a good rest, and join us tomorrow on the last day of the month, 
which is the fourth Sunday of Epiphany. But at church, in this benefice, we are celebrating Candlemas.